Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Lonely Craft. Uh, last time I introduced you to the basics, uh, gathering some rudimentary resources such as wood. And then I kind of got into a jam here in this uh, village. Kind of solved the problem. I've placed, see that wood block there, I've placed wooden blocks so all villagers can get into their houses now otherwise they'll uh, you know they can't get in there and then they get attacked by the zombies uh, got my good friend Spalding here uh, today I want to find a cave because we need to start gathering uh, our next batch of resources and we're going to be looking for coal and iron mostly uh, so, uh, before we do that, I want to go harvest some of the food in this village. Because if you see my, my hunger there is getting, getting low and I won't be able to heal up, which will cause me to die like last time. So. Uh, you just have to punch this stuff. Well, music, let me turn that off. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's other food here. Um, potatoes and carrots. Uh, let's see. What do I want to say about that? For crops, you can tell when they're fully grown. For wheat, you can see that they got the brown tips on top, otherwise it's green like this. Oop. And just break some of the, oh, that wasn't fully grown. And carrots, I don't really like carrots as a source of food. Potatoes are pretty good, I got a couple of those. And uh, when you break wheat, it'll give you back seeds like this and it'll all always return to you as at least as much as you put in so you see now I, uh, I broke that wheat but I actually have an excess of what I broke so that's how you can if you make your own farms which we'll get to eventually um, after they grow once you can start making them a bigger farm Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave the carrots. I got potatoes. Potatoes, um, they don't do much by themselves. See, I didn't even, it's like, yeah, half a bar. Uh, but we can cook these. And then we get baked potatoes. And those are actually very good for food. Um, let's see. Grab my bed. Grab my workbench and then we're gonna move away from this village. Try to find a cave. Okay, let's see. Let's see desert there. Desert over there. Everywhere desert. Um uh, let's head back towards these plains actually. I'm gonna run. And uh running is double tap up. Um, it's not very reliable so don't be surprised if you don't really get it. Um, and when you run it uses up food you'll see my my hunger bar going down pretty quick. Um, however in the next update well ow well <laughs> I guess we're down here now. Okay, no, now we're going to really have to survive. Okay, so I'm just going to get some cobble here and you'll see why in a second. So once I get eight, oh I got like 29 on me, okay. Place five. I'm sorry if you can't see this, I wasn't expecting to be down here. Okay. So, 
Oh. So, you know how... Oh, we haven't made a chest yet, but okay, so if you take cobblestone and you put it in a fill the outside of this crafting grid and leave the center blank, you get a furnace. And uh, I'll place that wherever. And I'm going to use up. You can use when you start your game out and you get wooden tools, you can um, use them as fuel after you. Because you'll shortly get stone and level up your gear, so you can just use wood as fuel here. And I'm gonna burn a piece of wood. You can actually use sticks for this too, I think. Okay, and so I do. What you do is you put your fuel down here, and what you want to burn up here, and then you'll get the result here. And um, I don't have any regular coal. There's a slight difference between charcoal and, and regular coal. Uh, I want a couple of pieces of this. So see how like wood pieces. See, it didn't even make it. I guess it doesn't even make um, doesn't even do a full thing. So I'd have to put multiple sticks in there. But it'll go one for one with the wood turning into, into charcoal. So I'll wait for that. Okay, so now I got two pieces of charcoal. Um, make some planks. Make some sticks. So now you, uh, in this crafting grid or in that crafting grid, doesn't matter if you put stick down and then charcoal on top of it you get torches which are going to be vital for us for survival um, and once you get torches you just right click on a spot and they'll hang on the wall and they'll light it up and this is important because mobs spawn in accordance with the light level so um, here let me put if I turn smooth lighting off here you can see like gradients in the in the light level so from like here's a good example right here so here's one light level and then as it loses light gets darker and darker and darker and each of these levels of light has a number associated with it which you can see in the F3 screen if I do that and right here it says BL and a number 10 so where I'm standing has a block light of 10 and monsters can only spawn at 7 or below so if you have like a house or you're going through a cave, you want to light it up consistently enough such that, uh, you know, everywhere is above seven. Well, this blows. I thought we were going to get a cave. Um, that's fine. But another thing I want to do is cook some potatoes. I'm going to I want to get up to full health so in these boxes you can stack fuel and what you want to make so I put two blocks down here and put two up there so it should I might be able to get three out of this now one thing you have to be aware of with the furnace is that when a piece of fuel gets consumed it it uses all of it so you want to try to not waste anything so I'm only using logs right now and those are pretty much one-to-one -one with anything but once I get coal those are generally like uh, one piece of coal to eight uses of uh, what you want to burn 
Hmm. Excuse me. And so, like, if you put one coal here and you only put, like, three of what you want to cook, well, you've wasted five uses. So I tend to not cook anything until I have, like, eight of something. All right. So potato here. Okay, so you, when you get your food, you hold it in your hand and you just hold right-click. Now, hmm, it's a dark out, so I think I might put my bed down here just to sleep for the night. Oh, let me turn this off. There. Okay. I want all these. Ooh, scary now he's. Um, okay. Another important thing, you'll see me switching between tools using different things, and that's because tools are specific to like what they're they're meant each tool is meant for a certain thing. And um, if you don't use a tool for what it's meant for if you use a tool and it's and you use it on what it's not meant for you'll I don't know the exact number but you'll end up degrading it faster so like each tool has a set number of uses and um, just a second here If you use it appropriately, it'll just be one use every time you use it. But if you don't, then it'll like use two. I'm not sure what the number is, but I think it's two. Okay, and now I'm doing kind of what they call pillaring up, and you can uh, jump, and at the height of your jump, you can place a block below you so you can get up uh, elevations pretty quick. Okay, so let's see if we can actually find the cave. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see, while we're walking there, is there anything I want to talk about? Um, can't think of anything, so I'll see you again after I find a cave. Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, I didn't walk too far. I only walked, I don't know, 150 blocks in a straight line through the desert I came from. But I came across these pigs, and I uh, came across this swamp. I'm pretty sure we're going to find a cave here for a second. Um, pigs, I'm just going to kill a couple of these because they give up some sweet sweet flesh and uh, they're gonna be they have some really good food they provide some really good food um, another thing about food is that your bar on the bottom you know it has nine no ten pieces on it but that bar can actually be filled higher than that 10. It's called saturation. And so you don't have to worry about wasting food. So you might notice that something, I think like baked potatoes and pork use up or uh, let you regain four health bars. But like if you ate right now, you might think that you would be You'd only be gaining back one and a half, but you don't have to worry about um, those extra two and a half because they will uh, overflow. And so, uh, if you start doing activities that will take away hunger, you 
you'll use up that overflow first. Well, geez. Um, we really need to start getting resources, but this is not going well for us. Um, usually these swamps are riddled with holes into the ground. Um, same about this this uh, snowy biome. So let's hope we get something in here. Uh, this world is just really working against me. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. I mean, I guess if you are a brand new player, just getting some exposure to the world is, I hope it will be a little helpful. Um, I want to try to leave as much in as possible since this is intended for uh, you know brand new Minecraft players and I think doing a lot of jump cuts might confuse somebody uh, uh, please come on it's just a little tunnel. Well, we could always resort to... Hey, there's iron. Okay, so you see the uh, the, the smooth stone that has some uh, kind of brownish veins through it? That is iron. Uh, so let's down here. Whoa! Hello. Found a little chamber here. It's going to be dangerous at night. See how dark it was? So when it gets night, it was going to be even darker. So this side goes deeper. Come on. Uh, nope. But I do have this, so we're going to make sure to pick this up. And now I burned up my wood pickaxe, but you need to pick up the iron with at least a stone pickaxe. If I were to use my wood pickaxe, uh, it's been a while since I tried doing that, but it, I think it'll you'll be sitting there trying to break it for, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds, and when it breaks, it would just go away. It wouldn't drop anything. So, you have to use a stone pickaxe. This... I just cannot believe we can't find anything. I can always resort to digging down. Getting trolled by Minecraft here. Just like every little gap I see doesn't go any deeper than a couple of blocks. But okay, so I see coal here. So now this is coal. It's the smooth stone with the black veins in it. So this is very important. And these are usually in pretty big pockets. You'll find a lot adjacent to them. Now, uh, ores do have a chance. I'm not sure about coal, but I know for sure like iron and gold and diamond, they have a chance to uh, generate diagonally. So if I had a block here um, and I break it, only this one and this one would be exposed by that. But this one could potentially be a uh, ore. Nope, not a cave. But we got coal, so that's good. Got a couple of coal. Mm. Nope. Here we go. Hello? More coal, I see. Got 
going to drop down. Let's see some squids have died. Yeah, squids can suffocate. That that makes sense. And that's what those two pieces are. Uh, it's nothing. Those items aren't too useful, so. I think I might uh, create a little house here. Just because I'm not finding anything, so I'm probably just going to dig down into a cave. Let me light this up. I'm going to go over there to light it up. Just so. Okay, well this looks a little bit more promising. Okay, well, we'll come down for that. We'll come back for that. I'm going to make my cubby over here. Now my food's getting really low, but I picked up all that uh, pork chops. So, and I found some really good coal, so we'll be fine. Okay, Let's see how big this, how many coal there are. I think I only, only like one of these blocks was stone that I've come across here. So this is a good, now we finally got a good head start on coal. I've got a couple iron. I saw a few iron down the cave. And uh, I might have to keep the caving. The next episode will be all caving. This is, I think we found finally found a cave. Okay, so I picked up all that coal. 55 coal, nice. So I'll stick the coal on top of it. Just grab all those torches. Put it up. I'm going to make this a little nicer. Eventually. Um, now, let's see. I want this to be my bottom floor. That. Okay. Put my bed right here. Okay, and put that there, that there. Now before I cook, I'm going to make, I need to get some wood, but this, we're in a swamp, so there's abundant wood. Um, oh, I got a door, okay. And I'm going to put a door on here so nothing can sneak up on me. And now watch that. So normally you place a door like that just kind of straight the way you would think but because of zombie behavior we're gonna actually it's a weird quirk of the code I'm gonna go diagonally put it like that so I guess zombies can only break through a door in a closed state and so um, the door is, you know, it's open and closed. So what I do is I put the door diagonal. Whoa! Skeleton, get out, get away from that. So I put it, and when you place a door, you place it in its closed state. Right. So when uh, I place it sideways and I right click on it, it actually flips from its closed to its open state, but in its open state, it covers the gap that I actually want protected. So um, it stops zombies from trying to knock it down. Okay. So what I'll do is I have eight. Hey, that worked out nice. Eight pork chops, one coal. 
and those will cook and then also I picked up this wheat simple thing of food that we can make just three wheat I'll eat that to tide me over for a second um, okay last thing before I end this episode uh, oh, two things uh, one we need some sticks uh, two levers I got a fence a sign Space here. Making some headroom here. Whoa, leg. Don't know what that why that happened. Why this is happening. Fence post down. Put a wood block on top of that. But one lever here. Wow, I am getting tons of leg and I have no idea why. Uh, my Cory might be getting long. Let me, uh, before we finish this here, let me check that out. Huh, I have no idea why that was happening. Put a top on and our sign, and we have Spalding. So now Spalding's gonna hang out in our base, protect our base, and uh, he's gonna help me with this last thing that I want to point out. And it's a simple thing, but it will probably make your life easier. You've probably noticed me um, moving things around pretty quick. You know, I for it. You've seen stuff snapping into inventory spots and such. Um, and here, another thing that I'm going to make that'll make it this easier to show you. I'm going to make a chest. And be, okay, there's another thing. Um, <laughs> my recording is kind of inconvenient. And you've probably noticed my mouse clicks, but uh, if you'll notice when I'm doing some crafting, you'll only hear the initial mouse click, and then these blocks appear pretty quick, as opposed to one, you know, a whole bunch of mouse clicks. And that's because they have a uh, trick where if you hold right mouse and drag it'll just place one of whatever you're holding in the boxes that you hover over okay that was a chest and another thing that they do just is just for uh, display if you hold shift and left click it'll evenly it'll evenly What's the word I'm looking for? Um, wow, major mind blank. It'll like evenly put a block wherever you hover over. So if I use my wheat here, for example, shift and left click cross, I had 11 and that doesn't divide by three evenly, but so I have two left over and now I can just um, I don't have to do one, two, three, click, you know, one, two, three, click, one, two, three, click, one, two, three, click, and then get the thing. Um, also, if you shift and left click on your product in either the furnace or the crafting table, it will use up all of the resources. So I'm going to shift and left click 
that I used up all nine of my wheat to make the max amount that it was allowed from the amount that I put in there. Uh, eat. Um, are there any other inventory tricks? Um, you can uh, put your fuel, fuel into here like that um, if you're in the furnace and you shift left click on some something it'll go to there and uh, let me put the chest down right here whoa which okay open it and if you click anything right here it'll down here shift click it'll jump up into the chest so I can move things around quickly you know you can only I can put a couple in I can spread them all out um, if you have things like multiple instances of things like this and you double left click on them they'll all pop into one stack for you so I can have these all oh no I have so many coal all over the place that I can just double click and receive all of them um, so those are inventory tricks um, Sorry this episode wasn't too exciting. I got really thwarted by the Minecraft generator uh, world generation, but I think we found a nice cave. Um, the inventory tricks are pretty useful. Uh, and so, quick recap. I guess I didn't get that much done, but we moved from that village across a couple biomes. Now we're in this uh, swamp biome. I taught you how to harvest uh, stuff from villages like that and make food. I showed you what to look out for as far as food like wheat, potatoes. Um, there were carrots in that farm but I they're not that great a source of food so I just left them. I picked up some some uh, pork chops from some pigs. We finally found some coal and some iron. I harvested a whole bunch of iron. Um, I taught you how to build furnaces and chests. Both of those recipes are just in a crafting table a full box around the grid. But with the furnace it's a uh, cobblestone and for a chest it's wood planks. Um, showed you how to cook food so that it's more effective. I said that you know you could eat a potato or all one but you need if you cook it you get even more out. Same as for pork chops I didn't I didn't eat any raw ones but the same thing holds true for that. Um, and I think that's about it. Uh, next time we're going to go caving, so that should be a fun episode. I'm sure I'll get attacked by lots of monsters. Uh, and uh, we constructed our friend Spalding here to help us along our lonely quest throughout this world. And if uh, if caves were friends, this uh, they'd be right in this series because there are none. <laughs> Spalding, if only Spalding could become a cave for us. Which he, uh, he's kind of in the process. He's a piece of cobblestone that would come from a cave, so. Uh. Alright. I, I will see you next time. Spalding will see you next time. He's giving us a wave. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.